Hey YouTube, I'm bringing you here a Modern Warfare 3 video. This is a video of how to get a lot of uh, weapon XP. Now I know you've probably seen hundreds of these videos. That's how you good ways to get weapon XP. And I'm pretty sure you all know every game mode you play is a hundred weapon XP. Now in here I'm showing you the PM9. I have no kills whatsoever with it. This is a fresh PM9. Never used it before. So um, what you're gonna do is go to Team Defender. Now you're pretty sure you all know Team Defender. Um, it's great for leveling up your character, but it's also actually really good for leveling up your weapon. Um, and as you know, when you hold the flag, um, you actually get double um, XP for your kill. Um, but it, what many people might not know is that it actually also counts towards your weapon experience. So I actually get double the weapon experience. And I'm going to demonstrate it here. Um, you know, I'm just letting this run so I can just talk about some stuff. Um, Sorry I haven't been able to get a Modern Warfare 3 video in a while. I had some problem with editing software. Could not get this thing imported. Had to install some codecs because, you know, Sony Vegas, it kept crashing it for some reason. Um, but, and, but I, I got it to work now. So it's all good. So here on Dome, playing, 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 uh, playing Team Defender here. Again, with the PM9, I showed you in the beginning of the video, I had no, absolutely no kills here. Uh, but other great ways um, of getting weapon XP is Drop Zone. Um, that is a really good mode. Um, basically, you're going to have to kill Horde in Drop Zone. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like that. And I'm using a random setup here. Um, nothing special. This is just a class that I had, and I took it out and put a PM9 in. Um, so in the beginning here, I get one regular kill, and we did not have the flag. We did not have the flag. So I get the kill, boom, and our team gets the flag right after. But I did not have the flag while I got that kill. Um, now, I got 100 experience for that kill. As you know, every kill is worth 100 experience. Now, I speed kind of the rest of the gameplay up until our team is actually able to capture a flag. Uh, my KD is horrible because I was not killing anybody, and I was getting killed like a boss. So I had the flag there. Could not get the kill because, you know, PM9 and it's recoil. Um, but basically, I'm going to keep dying. I'm not going to try to kill anybody. I'm going to get on my death streak, but I don't use the death streak. I was just solely trying to uh, let my teammates kill the guy with the flag. And, yeah, see there, like, I, I wasn't even going to bother. Because I don't like using my death streak. I think, you know, it's just for people, uh, for new people. And, you know, I don't think it's really fair. But I still have it on. I'm uh, not sure why. <laughs> just take it off, but I'm just messing around with the barrel in here and you know all that good stuff. But drop zone is a good one. Um, search and destroy. You may think it gives you 500 experience for a kill, but it's actually only 100 um, towards your weapon at least. Um, but drop zone, yeah. If you team when your team holds the flag, you get 200 experience. Um, sorry if there's already a YouTube video on this. You know, I searched it up. I couldn't. Everybody says it's good for. Uh, character XP, but nobody really talks about weapon XP with it. Um, and you see here, I'm not even, not even bothering with the uh, final stance stuff. Um, so, drop zone is great. Um, you know, kill confirmed, team deathmatch. Those are pretty basic standard modes for weapon XP. Um, what other modes are good um, for weapon XP? I don't know. I think drop zone mainly. And the uh, team defender is the best one out of any game mode possible. Um, simply for the fact that you do get double like, XP while your team has a flag. And even if you don't, if your team doesn't have the flag. And uh, oh yeah, I slow it down right here because this is where I get my kill. I get shot here and kill the guy. And I see it says 350x2 bonus. Um, I got sleight of hand, so I think that was like 100. And then uh, the two kills I got. I mean, the, <laughs> the kill I got. Um, and it was worth double. So here I switched my ACR, but like, wait, I still don't want to get any kills because, you know, I just want to have those two kills just to prove to you at the end that I did not get any other kills. So got those two kills again, speeding this part off. Video is wrapping down here in a little bit, but I'll show you afterwards. Um, I also did not get any headshots or paybacks. As you all know, um, if you get like a headshot, a payback, um, any one of those, a bus kill, your weapon XP does double also uh, for that kill. Um... But I'm going to show you right here, coming up, there we go, 
300 XP. I got two kills, one when we didn't have the flag and one when we did. 100 for when we didn't and 200 for when we did. If you're still not, still don't believe me on this, go try it out yourself. Um, that's going to be it really for this video, guys. Hope you like it. More Modern Warfare 3 come on, come, yeah, coming up. And uh, see you guys next time. See you. Two kills and uh, no headshots, nothing else. So I'll uh, catch you guys later, probably with some uh, more Crossfire Modern Warfare 3.